Hello everyone, it's uh, Vesper HBT again. Just wanted to uh, touch base with y'all and uh, let you see kind of what I've been working on lately. I've had a lot of interest in uh, some of the concepts I've talked about with my motors and things like that and I've spent the last few days kind of coming up with a, with a new design. Well, let's take a look at it. Well, that's kind of not a new design. I was so impressed with, uh, with the Duffman circuit that I decided to build a couple and uh, also build the, the battery swapper as well. You can see the battery swapper circuit at the top. Made a little bit of an adjustment. I've went ahead and added some fuses in um, and uh, actually offset those so that I can change those out. Then I'll have my primary circuit and my secondary circuit. Neons and uh, I haven't hooked everything up yet. Um, that's because I'm uh, designing a brand new motor concept, hence the, the video. And uh, the reason why it's a, a new motor concept is I've uh, redesigned the rotor. Um, I thought that it was a little inefficient, and so I decided to come up with a new rotor design. And in doing that, um, I've spent the last few days uh, building jigs and uh, building a mold and cutting a mold. And then I've used a new composite material that I've came up with that will uh, actually aid in the magnetic transfer and uh, not have a magnetic resonance afterwards. So once it pulses, it's basically a clean, free spirit again. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and take a look at it. I've had a lot of people question it and, and what's it look like and how's it coming and what have you been working on? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So we know about the typical Benini circuits, and uh, the Duffman has a great layout. You can download that off a of Teep. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? This is my new motor design. This is just the rotor. And uh, as you can see, it's going to have a lot of different magnets in it. Um, in total, it's going to have about 24 magnets. Each hole is going to um, actually have a magnet inside of it. Um, it's going to be a neo-magnet that's going to sit inside of it. And the uh, benefit to this is this is a completely new composite material that I've came up with that actually will focus the magnetic energy so that it will take less of a pulse to actually spin. And if I go ahead and give it a spin, you'll see that it's very, very free spinning. And that's because I use a different type of bearing with this. Um, I've actually found a really excellent bearing supplier that actually made some bearings to my specifications. They do not hold a magnetic charge and they look just like a standard, ma standard bearing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you'll see these little notches. Each one of those little notches contains a little magnet and there's another little rotary magnet that goes around on the inside. So basically, this bearing is a magnetic bearing. So it actually free spins on magnetic energy on the inside. So it doesn't have actual moving parts on the inside, just basically magnets. It supports the whole thing. You can see I can just barely give it a little push and it rotates quite freely. And uh, just, to, just to have you take a look at that, um, it is on a shaft um, that will go all the way straight through. And uh, on the inside of this sphere is where I'll have my drive coil. And then on the outside will be all my slave coils. And that's where I'll generate all of my energy from. And uh, I just have one of my bobbins. Um, if you watched my uh, how-to on how to make bobbins, you'll recognize this. Each one of these is going to have the bobbin that will be right next to it on each one of these. And as you can see, they're going to be at different angles, and those angles are very important. Um, that's pretty much what I have to show you um, out of the composite material. This actually whole unit right here weighs about two and a half to three pounds, and uh, is approximately about an eighth of an inch thick, and it is hollow. Um, and uh, once it actually has all of the uh, magnets inside of it, it'll weigh about five to eight pounds. So it's going to be a little bit of a heavy rotor but uh, it'll definitely spin up and uh, be very good. So if we give it just a little spin so you can watch it, you'll see that it free spins quite nicely. It doesn't wobble. It's very centered. 
um, and uh, I'm very, very proud of the, uh, the way it turned out. I'm very excited to get the rest of the motor built. I hope that you've enjoyed this, and uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.